Hey, what's up? This is Keith with the jazzworld.com. This is your Friday top five for the Pointer Sisters. The Pointer Sisters started out in the early 1970s. That's when they really got going, and it's a family affair, a sister group. They were at times a quartet, but most of their hits came as a trio. Now, I'm sure you're thinking, man, Pointer Sisters, but... I'm sure you haven't heard a Pointer Sisters song in about 15 or 20 years. Now, when we go back and talk about these songs and you go and listen, I guarantee you're going to say to yourself, wow, they had some hits. All right, so let's get started. Coming in at number five is I Need You. Now, this was the first single off of the Breakout album, their most successful project. Now, although this didn't chart as all the rest of their hits did, it only peaked at 48, but it is pure R&B. I love the song, especially the full-length version, which is at six minutes. And once again, I love the full-length versions of songs so you can feel the music and the bass and the drums and all that and how it comes together. So I'll put that full-length version below and just listen to that while you ride in your car, and I guarantee that you'll be bobbing your head to this jam. Coming in at number four, the Neutron Dance. That's right. It was also on the Breakout album, but most people know it best as a part of one of the best movies of all time, according to me, Beverly Hills Cop. That's right. It's a total 80s song, up-tempo, kind of new wave-ish. And of course, Ruth Pointer is singing the lead with that deep voice, man. Just so funky. Now, she was t boz before there was a t boz all right? So go ahead and give her credit where credit is due. So number four, Neutron Dance. Coming in at number three from 1980, He's So Shy. That's right, it's like a mid-tempo Motown kind of feel. And with their stellar vocals, man, it's just one of those great, great songs. Now, incidentally, this song was originally intended for Leo Sayer. Hmm, that's interesting. You know, the guy who sings, You Make Me Feel Like Dancing. And, you know, once you hear that, you can kind of hear him singing that song. Of course, they'll change the gender. But, hey, I'm glad that the Pointy Sisters recorded that and it was a hit for them. Coming in at number two is Automatic. This is also from 1984 off the Breakout album. Now, this is pure R&B, a pure smooth out song. And, of course, the full length version is what we're interested in. So you go ahead and listen to that. Now, a couple of things about this song. This was their highest charting R&B hit, and it was also their highest charting hit in the United Kingdom. All right, so it was actually a huge song overseas. And this particular song won the Grammy for Best Arrangement with Two or More Voices. And coming in at number one is Jump For My Love from 1984, also off the Breakout album. Now, originally the song was just Jump, but to avoid any confusion with the Van Halen song Jump that came out that same year, they added For My Love in parentheses. This is the most successful song off that iconic album. And they also won the Grammy for Best Pop Performance by a duo or a group for this track. Now, I left the extended version below, so just listen to the music. Listen to the harmonies and the vocal arrangement, and you're going to see why this is number one for me. All right, well, that's going to do it for us for this week. If you like what's happening, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.